out. So on this floor, this is kind of an odd setup. Usually the boards are set in there, you know, whether they're under a lip on this back end or under a lip in the front end, and then they are bolted with carriage bolts through the angle liner supports underneath. So this is kind of an odd setup, as in this has the potential to be the original floor, which is odd to think, but the potential's there. So either, either this lip has been replaced whenever they put the new boards in, or that front lip, which the front lip looks older. This looks like newer angle here. So I think they just cut that out and they put a new piece of angle here and welded it in to get these boards in. Well, that's, that's no big deal. I'm still gonna show you how to pull that stuff out. It's not rocket science. But when we go back in, I'm gonna drill and I'm gonna put it through the angle iron at least one row to solidify that to where that, that floor is actually part of the trailer. So anyway, we're gonna tear this floor out. I know a lot of people have been asking about, how do I tear the floor out? How do I replace the floor? Well, here's how you tear it out. Whether there's carriage bolts in there or not, this is how you can tear it out. <laughs> All right, today's the day. We're gonna cut this floor out. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. Today's the day we're gonna do this. Here's what we're gonna use, all right? This is a 20 volt max DeWalt seven and a quarter inch circular saw, okay? So it's battery operated. I use my eight amp hour batteries. It's the easiest way I found to do it. And this thing will, this is a workhorse. So first things first, we want to adjust this blade depth to where it's about the same as our floor joist, okay? So that way we're cutting just the floor joist. If there's anything hanging down underneath there, like this trailer actually has a piece of square tubing for the trailer lights that runs and hangs down below. But we don't want to cut that. We just want to cut the boards um, so that we can have get these out of here and have access to everything below and replace them with new. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'll show you how that's done. All right, so what I have here is a newer, this is like a two by 10 or two by 12, that this is a two by 10 from the last build I did. This is a scrap off of the floor. So here's one way that you could measure to set your blade depth, is you can set your blade depth to this, or you could measure that's inch and a half, so you want your blade to be an inch and a half below your, uh, your cutting platform there. And you want your blade to be cutting an inch and a half below that so it rips right through those boards. So this is the easiest way to actually set that down. Set your guard up, that lever, that lever pulls that guard up, okay? And then I'm going to be actually adjusting this lever here. You see, you uh, undo that, this slides up and down. That controls your depth. So we're gonna do that, set that down there. And you want, you want that depth to be where you're at. Okay, there we go. All right, so then we cinch that back down. And there we go. Our depth is set to, should be just be able to cut these boards so you're going to want to watch out. You can see in these gaps where the angle iron is underneath. So you don't want to cut through and cut along those angle irons because that'll tear up your saw blade and tear up your angle iron that may cause you to have to replace it later. So you can either eyeball it by seeing how far spaced those are through here. I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, so on this floor, here's what I want you to notice. As we go to cutting, so you can see, this is the back of the trailer. You can see there's a piece of angle there, piece of angle there, piece of angle there. There's axles, angle, axle, angle. So there's another piece of angle up there. So you can see through these boards and see where they're at. So be sure that you're not gonna be, you wanna, you wanna be cutting in between the angle iron, 
okay? You don't want to, I mean, it's okay. You're going to set your saw right, but you don't want to be cutting um, through angle iron. That's, that'll tear up your saw. And then another thing you can do is, if you're really particular, you could get, you can crawl underneath, be sure and have it on jack stands, and you can measure from the back the spacing of all those so you could measure from here and mark it all out to be sure that you're not cutting through that angle. That's a little tedious for me. So um, if, it, if it was my first time, I might be cautious enough to do that. But since I've done it before, I'm, I know where the gaps are. I can see it and I'm just gonna rip this stuff up. And so enjoy the show. Another thing is as always, when you're doing this, boots, gloves, glasses, and earplugs, preferably. Do I wear that all the time? No. Should I? Yes. So I want you to do the right thing. come out. If there's carriage bolts in there, then you'll be able to come back. You'll cut in between. You'll have gaps there. You'll be able to come back with either a, uh, a pry bar or a baby sledge and be able to hit those and then cut your carriage bolts out because most of them are going to be rusty. You'll be able to cut your carriage bolts out uh, with your grinder. So um, we don't have carriage bolts in this. So I'm going to go ahead and keep cutting. told you earlier that there was likely carriage bolts holding this floor in in the past. Well, there's holes all along here for those carriage bolts to go. So this floor has been replaced, but this is how you get them out, get it out of there. And this, this is that, that iron, that square tubing that your tail lights are running from the your tongue all the way back here to the back of the trailer we're in. So do not cut that. All right, so now is the trickier part. You've got these boards on the sides, right? That you need to get out. How do you do that? Eh, there's a couple different options to get these boards out. One is you can take an oscillating saw. All right, I'll show you that. Another is to, is to work with this and kind of cut an angle and maybe cut along there and get enough out to where you can essentially break that out. That's my preferred method, but I'll show you a couple options. So a couple of options on getting those sideboards out, um, the ones that are next to the walls on the floor, those can be somewhat difficult. So I'll show you the technique I use 
with the circular saw. And then I'll also show you, this is another option if that intimidates you any, then you could use, of course you could use some sort of hand saw or I don't know what you could do with that, but you could figure out something. Um, and then this is called an oscillating saw, an oscillating tool. So what it does is it essentially, this blade, this is a fast wood cut blade, this blade will just move back and forth really fast, kind of like a electric razor or hair trimmer or something along that. It'll just sit there and go back and forth really fast. So this is, a, I'll put a link to this below to this tool. So you've got three different speeds here. One, two, three, you're probably gonna wanna do number three because it'll get cut faster. Um, so all you do is you put this blade on there's this lever right here, okay? You squeeze that lever, and then this blade, see all those little holes? They line up with those teeth that are in there. So you just squeeze that, put your blade in, and let it go. It's spring-loaded. Um, you can adjust this to a right angle or several different angles. That's why all those teeth are there. And then all you do, you squeeze, put the battery in, squeeze the trigger, and this is trigger sensitive, so the more you squeeze the trigger, the faster it goes. See? So, um, we'll give that a shot. I'll show you how that works. I'm not a huge fan of it, but if this is more your style, then go for it. All right, so here's a pro tip for you. These boards you just cut out, get one of the longer ones. Notice how it sits across there? That'll give you a nice place to sit to do this work. See that? Now I can do this work. Um, so, like I said, we can work our way in with this. I'll kind of show you. Mm, you see what you think of it. This battery may not have enough left on it, but... You get the hint, it's not, I mean. So this is more of a finesse tool. So let's set that aside. I'm not a fan. All right, so here's my favorite is, um, is this tool. So. What I want to do is make a cut. I'm going to make it cut like that. And I'm going to make it cut like that. And that's going to give me a, a spot there, um, hopefully, where I can then pry this board out of here and then get all the rest of it moved over. Um, that may not have made a lot of sense in that sentence, but here we go. I'll show you how to do it. You don't want to hit your angle. Also plunge. All right, see that? Now we can scoop this out enough. Or we'll watch this. See, it won't. We can't pull this out by itself, but we can do this. As simple as that guys just think about what you need to do and uh, you know different ways to go about it it ain't rocket science we'll do the same thing with the other side
All right, the battery ran out on the other side or seemed like it wasn't very strong. So I'll show you. This is the battery from my saw that I'm using. I want to show you the effectiveness of this. See? So it does cut through there halfway decent. You know, you could you could get in here and through it just takes a little bit so if this is your style go for it um, but the circular saw is more my style so I'll put the battery back in there <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is the same thing I did on the other side you may not have seen it as good so I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to go here. I'm going to cross them. And I might make a plunge there. And that'll let me pull this board. See how it comes out a little bit? There you go. See? There's a little bit of play in there. So I'm going to pull this board out. And I'm going to make those cuts. And uh, that'll essentially allow me to pull, make, pull this board in two. So they're almost together, and I'm just going to plunge this. There we go. So this pops out. This is weak enough. Break it by hand. All right. <clears throat> now, you might have to do several of those cuts along the way if this thing is held in by carriage bolts, okay? That's something to consider. You might have to make some square cuts, you know, two vertical, one plunge, and that would allow you to pop that out and give you access to the carriage bolts. So that's something to consider. But that's, uh, the floor is out, guys.